All right. Now, last time we tackled two new difficult uh, to pronounce letters. If you remember, that was the sa and the la, and both of them are not really uh, like the the la is uh, if I if you remember what I told you, only in the Arabic language you have this this letter and. Uh, uh, even the Arabic is called Lughat al is the, the language of the Dha, because it's so, so uh, specific to the Arabic language. And in most Arab language, the, la, uh, countries, they don't even know how to pronounce it properly. But uh, in, uh, in Arabic, we, in, in Iraq, we used to do this easily. Like here in Israel, the Palestinians do not uh, pronounce it. They say Dha. Ba, something closer to the D, and then the Egyptians would say it's just za, something like Z plus something, you know. But va is uh, is is the right way to pronounce it. And the other the other word is the sa. Uh, also, sa uh, is uh, uh, in Hebrew they don't use sa as I pronounce it now. They say tsa, tsa. They say tsaharaim, like. They don't sound the sa because it is a bit difficult, and and the same goes for many uh, other uh, Arab countries. They don't uh, they don't it doesn't sound like the right way. And uh, actually, the the Jewish Arabic in Iraq they spoke uh, many letters as they should be. They are much closer to the classical Arabic than many spoken Arabic uh, altogether. Okay, so uh, we talked about the sa and the va and the way they look. Uh, and uh, uh, if you remember, they look exactly the same except for a dot on top of the sa that turns it into a va. Okay, so they look exactly the same. And they had this special, uh, a special feature that we know. Uh, I'm going to show you something now. Uh, the um, let me see smaller. Okay, now uh, there is uh, usually this small uh, increment that. Uh, uh, that that we see on the on the straight line is tells us there is uh, like one, one letter has finished and another letter has begun. Uh, it's called in Arabic, it calls ragza. Now in the sa you have this small, small uh, thing, but it is a part of the letter. Like this is the letter. It doesn't, this thing, it doesn't mean that we have another letter coming after it, okay? This is a part of the letter, and, and only in the sa and the va, you've got this as a part of the letter. In the rest of the letters, when you see this, you understand that the letter is finished and there is a new letter coming. But you see here, like the, the, the next letter is here, the va, and but the sa itself has got this, this uh, rakza. Uh, we're talking about this font, but usually you have to have uh, as a part. Of, of the letter, you have to see you have to see this rexa. Now this only happens when it's in the beginning or in the middle of the letter, but when it's at the end of the letter, let me see if I have something like no, I don't. So I I'm going just to type something in the sa. Um, this is the sa uh, when it's at the end of the letter, whether it's uh, uh, it is connected or not. Let's see, I, I'm going to say, uh, I'll, I'll put something here. Um, uh, I'll, you know, just any, any, anything just to show it to you. Let's say it's boss, something like that, okay? Now you see there is no, no rakza here, but when I say uh, like uh, fast, Okay, now see this word. Uh, just a minute.
rasas by the way means uh, uh, like crowns for for the uh, for the uh, for the gun like bullet bullet rasas is bullets okay so you see here when it's in the beginning of a, a word or like here it's in as if it's in the beginning of the word because the, the letter before it does not connect so you, you see like this rakza is a part of the letter, but when it is at the end of, of a word and it is not connected, you see that you don't have this. And also, even when it is connected, you still don't have the rakza. You only have the rakza when it's in the beginning of a letter of a word or in the, in the middle of one. Okay, and this is very specific for for uh, uh, for the sa and the da. And it's a sign, like if you see something and you're not sure what it is, so uh, uh, you, you must know that it's one of these two, okay? Now, uh, I prepared here uh, a few words that include uh, this, uh, this uh, letter. And, and let's see, uh, uh, Yossi, can you please open your microphone and try to read uh, is it big enough or should I make it bigger? No, it's fine. I see, I see it good. Okay, I'll make okay. it a little bigger. No, no, no need for okay. me. Uh, first one is Sabah. 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 El Khir. Good morning. Uh, not exactly, not here, but. Because over the Kha, there is a vowel. El, el Kha, Sabah El Kha. Okay, now sabah try to read it again. Sabah El Al Al Al, al, al Kha. Kha. And then the Ya has got the Sukun, uh, uh, like a mute. Yeah. Kha. Okay, now try to read it again. El El Kha. No. But you have a ya yeah here, yeah, and you have to spell al khair. Al khair, nafon. So we read it. Sabah al khair. Sabah al khair. What does it mean? This is this is the way you should uh, you should ah. uh, give the morning. Uh, ah, that's um, how they say it, not sabah al khair. But usually you say sabah al khair in in in, in spoken Arabic yeah, in most like in most dialects. But uh, uh -huh. when we're talking about the 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 classical Arabic. Universal Arabic, you should say Sabah al Khair. Al Khair. Okay. Okay. Now, yeah. can you try, please, and read this word? It is a bit maybe. Right. This is. Now, do you uh, recognize the first letter here? What is this first letter? This is uh, sa, uh, Dad. Try again. Dad. Now. <coughs> Uh, we 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 learn two uh, two uh, two letters sa right. and va. Right. So this is the da. No, no. Uh, <laughs> you're saying za. It's it's va va. Da va. da. Va. Okay. 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 So this is the va. Okay. Do. Now, and, and hold on one second. Okay. Uh, my dog is acting up here. One second. <laughs> Yeah. Maybe he's oh, upset it's... because of the sound of the letter. I, uh, yeah, he's upset. I'm not reading it properly. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. So we, we established that this is a va and it has no. what, what do you call du. this? Du. Du. Very good. Du. And and this this letter you remember? We studied it, I think, didn't we? We did. Uh... Yeah. I think we did. Yes, we did definitely. Um, no, we did. I don't think so. No, we did. I, no. We did. We just. It just. The form is different because it's in the middle of the word. Okay. Uh, well, well, I'll I'll explain it a little bit more. Uh, this is a hay. Uh -huh. uh, this is a hay. Hmm. I got it. So. So do. Do who? Do who? Do who? Do Don't. Do you cannot make this into a double, double vowel because it doesn't have a wow after it. Right. So do who? 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 Do
Now you have to work a little bit on your bar because it, uh, yeah. it, it sounds very much like a da, okay? I know it's yeah. not easy, but uh, I want to show you now just uh, uh, to go after, go again on, on the ha, okay? Now this is the ha. Yeah. Uh, this is, uh, let, let's me, let me do. Uh, okay, this is ha in the beginning. Uh -huh. In the beginning of a word, okay. Yes. Huh? Yeah. In the beginning of word, or in the middle of the word, if if, if the letter be before it uh, does not connect, okay. Now, mm -hmm. uh, uh, now this is how I want to show you uh, in the in the middle of uh, le let's say um, doesn't matter if, if if the word makes sense. Okay, now, yeah. now this is the ha in the middle of a word. Okay, uh -huh. yeah. this is ha in the beginning, and this is ha in the middle. Now, okay. this is, I'll show you how the, the, the ha looks at the end of the word when it is connected. Mm -hmm. This is, by the way, I think this is the most difficult letter there is in the Arabic alphabet. It has so many faces, different faces. So yeah. this is in the beginning, this is in the middle, this is at the end. And now it has another form when it is at the end of a letter, but it is not connected. Okay? Mm -hmm. So these are five different, four different things. And when you write it in your handwriting, then this looks different too but i don't want to get into that <laughs> okay uh, so okay so we had we had this uh okay you know what yes. means by the way uh -huh. and uh, and and uh, and look yeah what is uh noon very good but what is Bahar? when uh, is written with an Sorry? Like a face, like your... Yeah, the back, it, it looks like it's written with the, the second va. I told you something like, it is very peculiar that va, although it is only in the, the Arabic language, they, they have two letters that sound exactly the same, but look different for some reason. So anyway, Bohr is noon. But when you say like Dhuhr with a vad, the, the, the other vad, it means back. Okay? Bahara, is a, a, it's a, the same from Dhuhr. Bahara means uh, he, he came out, you know, uh, somebody you can, you can, uh, who came out, come, come out and you can see. Okay. So we uh, now try please this, this uh, word, uh, uh, Yossi. This is um, sa, sab, sab, sabir, sabir. Now, now put the double vowel where it should be, and if there is no double vowel, just no, sabir. Say, no, no. What? No, the sad has got the double vowel, okay, and the right. ba has got the simple vowel. Right. right. Sa, sabir, 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 okay? sabir, yeah. sabir. Sabir, Sabir. somebody who has got a lot of uh, patience. Patient, yeah. Very good. Uh -huh. Anna, you know all of this. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. let's try uh, Nadine. Can you please try to read this word? Var. Uh, Var. Var means uh, uh, causes. Uh, uh, not pain, but uh, 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 some some words are just flying away from me. Uh, uh, causes a lot of trouble. Like like you you can say like the snake is dark because you know it can hit you and uh, so, it causes causes uh, yeah. Okay, I'm now try this one. It got not no no. Wow, but uh, uh, 
Jarah. But it has a uh, uh, shed down here. Remember? Uh, jar, jarah. Jarah. Yes, very good. That means uh, uh, a doctor who gives operations like his, uh, what do you say? His, uh, we have a place in Israel Surgeon. called the Sheikh, Sheikh Jarrah, you know? Yeah. Remember the place? Yeah, it's a place, but Jarrah means, uh, means uh, a doctor who performs uh, operations. Surgeon. Uh -huh. A surgeon. A surgeon. Surgeon. Uh -huh. surgeon, exactly. Okay, now try this word. Uh, Sarge? Sarge. 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 Do you know, Anna, what that means? I don't. The saddle that you put on a horse. Oh, yes, yes. Okay, Sarge. Okay. Now, Veronica, where are you? Hello. <laughs> I am here. I will okay. try. I don't have a good accent, but anyways. <laughs> Never mind. I think I you'll do try. That. Now, try. I'm not try. sure. Uh, tell me if, if it's too too difficult. I'll help. Okay. Now, do you okay. do you recognize this the first? The letter? first one, yes. It's like um, like a a ha. Uh, so is yeah. it like? It's one of the family of three. Ha, ha, yeah. and ja. Remember? Yeah. Okay. So now, like... if it has no no dots at all, it's a ha. And if it's a, got a dot under, it is a ja. And it has a dot over, it's a ha. Okay, now what okay. would you choose here? So this is ju, uh, ju, exactly. ju, 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 uh, <laughs> Yeah, yeah, you're quite there. Yeah, yeah, very good. <laughs> yep. That, Say that, that again. Say that again. Juru. Juru. Very good. Juru. Very good. Juru. Now, now tell me what it means. <laughs> oh, I have no idea. I'm going to let someone else take that one. Well, uh, Jarh is uh, like a cut, uh, you know, like, uh, uh, they say, injury. Okay, Jarh is are injuries in, in, in plural. Now, let me see if you can read this. Sha, um, sha, ri, uh, Okay, now uh, I, I should tell you that usually when, when uh, there is no uh, vowel on the last word of, uh, uh, of a word, that means the, the last uh, letter of the word is mute, okay? We call it sukun. Like this is the, uh, they, they don't usually put it because that's the way it's supposed to be. So like everybody knows, they don't put, uh, a vowel on the last uh, letter of a word because it's sukun, it's it's mute. So you read this as sheris. Sheris. Sheris is like savage. Sheris means savage. Okay, now now if you read this well, I I will let you go and you can go back. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. This okay. is. Uh, now you remember uh, this uh, first. Yeah, it's the ha, ha the no, ha. No, my dear, no. It's one of the two, this difficult, very, very difficult. Oh, the, the, okay. The, okay. Um, the, 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 No, okay. Uh, oh, you, you wrote, <laughs> you, you read this one, right? Va. Now, this is a ra, of course, but you see, there's a kasra, which means like you have to go e, okay? And then there is a ya, which makes it a double vowel, all right? Now try to read this. Darir. Darir, very good. Darir. Who knows what darir means? Anybody? Small. Darir means barir. Barir means blind. Mm -hmm. uh, there is another word which is ahma, but uh, barir is uh, the way uh, in in classical Arabic they say barir. Okay. What is small? Sorry. Small. Small. Sagir. Oh. Which is written uh, with sad. I, I, write, I write it down here for you. That's the way you write sad. Okay. okay. Uh, uh, sometimes it, it really uh, sounds, uh, you know how to say it in, in, in 
Judeo Arabic, Sagir? Zayr. Zayr. You know, it's a, it's a, instead of side, it's a za. Like, 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 like in Hebrew, Zayr, it's a very small. small. Zayr, yeah, Zayr. Okay. Yeah. All right. Now, Verna, are you there? I'm here. <laughs> You're here. Uh, I would love to see your face if you, if you don't mind. <laughs> Good, thank you. Can, can you read this this word? I have a feeling that you can read it very easily. I have uh, such a feeling. <laughs> right? Um, zururi. I knew zururi. that. You look like somebody who speaks no <laughs> I, I know Farsi, so it makes it ah, easy. Okay, they're more or less the same letters, right? Yeah, yeah. By the way, do you know what zururi means? Uh, like it important or urgent very good necessary the oh. story is necessary okay very good okay now try to read this word Duruz. very good and you know what the rose means i imagine mm, no Th these are these are a group of oh yeah the, 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 that's right in, yes. in, in israel okay the like, Druze. Uh, this is in plural when you say it in, in single, it's Durzi, Durzi, and in plural is Duruz, okay? Try please to read this word. Ha'azir. Again, please. Ha, is it Ha'azir? No, no, it is a Ha, and because of the Alif, it becomes a double vowel, so it's a Ha, you know, long. But oh, the va has got yeah. a short vowel. You cannot say rir, it's the adhi, because it just has a, a kasra, so it's the way to pronounce it is ha there. Okay. Ha -ver. You you prolong the ha, but the va is just simple and and uh, okay, ha there, you know what that means? Ready. Uh present. 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 Uh, it can also mean ready when you very good. Okay. Now, are you ready, Anna? I'm ready. Okay. Can you read this word, please? Hodur. 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 Very good. Which means if we know that Hadar is present, so Hodur is presence. Present. Okay. Hodur. Okay. And this word. Maybe you remember it, we had it once. Thabit. Thabit, which means, do you remember? Fixed, stationary, fixed. fixed. Exactly, fixed or stable. Okay. Now, this, this word, I took it from the Israeli. Uh, <laughs> there is uh, so much going about this, this kind of word. Now, try to read it. And remember, there is a Shadda here. So, tasannot, tasannot. Tasannot. Do you know what that means? Mm. Like I'm, I'm eavesdropping on you. Uh. Like right now, there is a big thing in Israel that the police was uh, tapping <laughs> phones of different important people. So, it's not means you know to eavesdrop. Okay. Okay. Now, can you, can you say it? Uh, can you just read it yourself? Uh, sorry, I, I'd rather see you then I can understand better what you're saying. Uh, I'm just saying that. Can you read it again? You're in your in your accent. Yeah, tasannot. Okay, thanks. Tasannot. Okay, tasannot means eavesdropping. Okay. All right. Okay. Now, uh, Yossi. Back to you. Okay. And I, I'll give you a remiss, okay, a clue. It is quite uh, similar to this word. Stop. Slowly, slowly, it's a long word and, and go one uh, letter after the other. In Hebrew say, we'll kill one Turk and then rest and then continue. Yeah. <laughs> ta, da, ta. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, 
Ya ta Ya ta sa Da Ya ta sa there is no da here because da does not connect. Okay. This, is, uh, this is na. Ya tas sa na not. Now read it all of it. Ya tasanat. Mitsuyan. Ya tasanat. Ya tasanat. That means he is eavesdropping. Okay. Uh -huh. Tasanat is eavesdropping, and ya tasanat like this is the. The the uh, uh, um, um, okay. Try to read this, please. This the verb. Ra, ra, rasid, rasid. Uh, rasid, rasid. Rasid. Do you have Do you have an idea what that word means? Rasid. Rosh. Anybody? Huh? Uh, well, if you have if you have money in your bank and you want to know how much how much do you have, this is called Rasid. Rasid is the money that it is in your name, like in the bank. Okay, uh, there must be a word in English uh, exactly for that. Uh, balance, like a balance. Yes, exactly. Like the balance. Exactly. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. The last word here is um, us. As beep, beep, as beep. Uh, try again, please. Now, on this, remember on the first ba, you have a fatha. As bab, as bab. As bab, as bab, as bab, which means I, I, I hope I, I imagine that you know the meaning of the word. As bab. Anna, do you know? Sorry, things. Things. No, uh, asbab is reasons. Hmm. Okay, uh, one reason is sebab. Sebab is reason. Asbab are reasons. What are I like hope? materials, things? What do they say that? In, sorry, say that again. Like materials, things. How do you ashia. say that? Ashia. Oh. The shape and ashia. Okay. Uh, I hope, like, while we are trying to knowing how to pronounce these different uh, letters at the same time, you're, you're getting a better vocabulary. Okay? Uh, nice. Odette, yeah. um, do we, will you give us this sheet when we're done? Yeah. Is it? <laughs> yeah, well, you'll have, you'll have it on, on video, so you can go back to it, no problem. You need uh, it, yeah. it, I'll give it to you, no problem. No, I'm, and it would be nice to, to have the word, what they mean underneath. No, the translation? In uh, English. Ah, well, <laughs> I can't do this while I'm doing this. Yeah, but, no. no like but, but you know what I'll do? I'll send you, I'll send you this paper, okay? Now you can listen to the video right. and yes, write yes. on it, you know, download it. We can it. write it down for ourselves. With yes. It. Okay. Veronica, are you still here? Hello. <laughs> <laughs> it's Veronica. Oh my gosh. Okay. Hi, Veronica. Is now, this? This is not very difficult. I, mean, <laughs> I remember the word. <laughs> ja, is it uh, Jaras? Jaras. Very good. Very good. You've been taking private it. lessons, huh? <laughs> no, I try to <laughs> catch tell us your secret. For two hours. Now, no. do you know what Jaras means? Anybody? Bell? I know Bell. Wajaras. Yeah, Jaras. Jaras. Would, Jaras. It's connected to Wajaras or no? No. <laughs> no Wajaras is the, the, the pain in the head. Okay. Uh, Jaras, uh, you know, it sound, usually it sounds as if it's not a scene, but a sad, like Jaras. But it is written in, in classical Arabic in Jaras. Now, this word is the same word of Jaras, but in plural. Um, I'm not gonna do okay. Uh, uh, oh my god, Ajras Veronica, <laughs> wonderful. I beyond my expectations now. Ajras means bells, okay? Jaras is bell, and Ajras 
are bell bells. Now, okay, now this is this is a very nice word. This is not very nice, but you can still read it. I can't read this. Um, what is the second word? Is it a d? Like the d? Okay, ja, uh, jad, jadri, jadri, jadri. Anybody knows what the meaning? It's smallpox. Um. <laughs> the jadri. Uh, okay. Now Nadine. You are next. This is easy for you. Uh, darb. Very good, which means path, path or way, okay? Okay. Okay, and, and this is the same word in plural. Durub. Durub, which means paths or ways. Okay, and this is easy. Uh, barid. Barid, okay. Barid, which means Oh. oh, it's in there. It's in there. <laughs> Want to look for it? I forgot. I'm sorry. Cold. 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 Well, in New York, you have to know what's bad it is. Yeah. <laughs> but you know how to say uh, bad it is, is, a, is an adjective. Okay, what if we say, like, we skip this. You say on a person also, like uh, the cool guy is a, uh, or, or like no, different. No, this is not cool in the, in the positive meaning. When you say somebody is, you know, is barid. very hard on your stomach, you say it's bad. Anyway, mm -hmm. that's the way it is in, uh, in, in Hebrew. Right. Uh, now try to pronounce this. I just changed a few things here. Baru. Baru. Bard means like when it is uh, cold weather. Bard, uh, not as an adjective, but as a noun. Okay. Right. I have a question. Of what course. happens like when you say birdi? What's all the difference between these cold? I, I, for some reason, I didn't imagine that you you'll be able to say this word. It's the only word. Wow! Wonderful. <laughs> Birdi is, is uh, spoken Judeo Arabic. Oh, okay. okay. And uh, like if we, I would, Birdi, which means it is cold, uh, if I would say it in classical Arabic, you say Barida. Okay. Okay. Birdi. Okay. Now, um, Yossi, try to read this word. Okay. Ab, ab, abrad, abrad. Ab, abrad. Do you have an idea what does that mean? Abrad. It's from something to do with the cold also? Yes. Now, this is a form of, of, uh, 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 of uh, changing a word to make it mean uh, uh, a form when it, to make it mean uh, colder, okay? Say barid is cold, abrad is colder, okay? Uh -huh. Now yes. we say like uh, pawil, you know, like regardless of the of the letters, pawil is is uh, tall, and you want to say taller, you say upward. When you say kabir, which is, is big, bigger, you say, what do you say? Akbar. Akbar. Okay. Sagir, yes. asghar. Asghar. Taqir, asfal. This is the way you say, like in English, uh -huh. you say colder, bigger, taller. In Arabic, we say barid, abrad, awil, atwal, and so on and so forth. Okay? Yeah. All right. Yad you yadi. No, no, please note that on the ya there is you 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 the u you the now on the right there is a shadda with a bone. Okay, 
you do you do you you do you do who you do you you do uh, difficult for me to pronounce <laughs> okay now you now please note I, I i think i mentioned it a few times in arabic uh, in classical arabic you don't have a uh, you don't have a you either yeah. have a or e or u these are the, the three vowels that are legitimate let's say in in, in classical arabic the rest is you know what we are used to when we speak in spoken Arabic, we use the e uh and the a. Uh, they don't have it in. So, causes harm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It causes harm. Okay. Now, yeah. this is also a, maybe a little difficult for you to read. Uh, this is. Um... Ya, 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 ji, ya, ji, shu. Ya, ji, shu. This is not a shu. Ya, ji, su. Ya, ji, su. Ya, ji, su. Yes. Ya, ji, su is when, when I take your, uh, your uh, heartbeat, you know, I'm, I'm uh -huh. feeling, uh, okay. all right? This is ya, ji, su, yeah. uh, uh, And this is the, uh, Okay, this is just, uh, I wanted to give you a little exercise in, the way, uh, in the way to pronounce this. Thanks for uh, giving me so many opportunities today. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. Well, the, the, the sa and the va are, are really a little bit uh, difficult to, to pronounce. So, uh, uh, but uh, um, uh, little by little, I hope that uh, you will be able to to pronounce it better. Okay. Sure. Uh, I just put together a few a few words. Okay. Now uh, maybe it's a bit too early, but there are another two letters I would like to introduce you to. Okay, and and these are these two letters, and, and they're a little bit maybe easier for you, and I tell you why. Okay. This is the letter Pa. Pa, in Hebrew, uh, in, in Hebrew, it's written like this. For you who speak Hebrew, maybe you remember it. Now, in, uh, yes. in, in spoken Hebrew, like when you say Boker Tov, the Tet, mm -hmm. uh, uh, which is almost been, uh, uh, you know, diminished to a T in, in Hebrew, but uh, in Arabic, you pronounce it with a Pa, Pa. You have to open up your mouth. Now, why is it uh, uh, not very difficult? because it does not change its uh, shape in the beginning, in the middle, and at the end, whether it is connected or not connected, it always is exactly looks like, like this, okay? Now this is the Ta. Now it has a sister that called, sorry, Va. Okay. Now it's exactly like this, like the ta, but it has a dot on top of it. Okay. Now, why should we have a va like this and another va like that? Where is it? You know, like that. Yeah. On top. Yeah. They sound exactly the same. 
There are some people who say that's a little bit of difference between the way they pronounce these two of us, but as much as I'm concerned, they, they sound exactly, exactly the same. Now, if there is a word that you haven't heard before, there is no way on earth that you can decide which Swa to use. And, and uh, although I, you know, I speak Arabic fluently and I write and read, but uh, sometimes there is a word and, and the only way I can tell which Swa to use is to write it down and then I say, this doesn't look right. You know, out of my, my experience that I have in Arabic, this is the only way I can tell which va you have to use, okay? So, but then uh, I have a question. Of course. Uh, what is the difference between those two letters and the letters we learned at the beginning with the, like the B, but with the two dots and the three dots on top? Because in the English, example that I have here that we got the, the all the letters at the beginning it's written exactly the same ta and da so what's I'm the difference sure, I'm not sure that I understand what you mean. you know you mean the the, two, the third and the fourth letter that we learned the you mean uh, like uh, let me uh, let me type it you mean the 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 just a minute where is it yeah, this is the B, yeah, those. The ta and the da, the second oh, and the no, third. No, this is ba, this is ta. No, ba, I know. Yeah. Now, this is ta, but we're talking about, now, read my lips, look at me. Look at me. Yeah. Pa. Pa is not ta. There's a difference between pa, pet, pa, boker, tov, tov. You know yeah. that you have to, to pronounce it differently from the ta. There's a ta, mm -hmm. which is like, let's say it's a bit cold, okay, and the pa, which is, which is really <laughs> burning, pa, uh -huh. okay? So it's a, it's okay. a, 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 it's a different, different letter. It sounds different, okay? And, and since you are not familiar with this sound, so maybe it sounds, sounds uh, a little bit the same. Like yeah. there is a, I can give you an example. There is a famous singer uh, in Israel. It's called Dudu Tassa. I don't know if you heard about him. He's yes, uh, the grandson of uh, these two fantastic uh, team, Daulu uh, Saleh uh, Likweti. They, they wrote so many songs. And he's the grandson of, of one of them and he's, he's uh, uh, like renovating so many of their old songs. So mm -hmm. there is the, this famous song, Fogin uh, Nachal. I don't know if you heard it. Fogin Nachal. And he sings it. Uh, I, I was teaching him once and he was singing it. Fogin Nachal. No, don't say Fogin Nachal. Say Fogin Nachal. He says, I can't see the difference. What are you talking about? I said, you can't see. The Fogin Nachal and Fogin Nachal. No, you say Allah or Allah. There's a difference. Mm -hmm. But yeah. you know, people who are their ear is not not uh, used to 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 hear the difference. Sometimes they don't think there is a difference. But you know, little by little, when it, it's a it's a nuance in in in, uh, in yeah. the way you pronounce. Uh, uh, just like I tell you, you are in in good company because. A lot of Israelis wouldn't pronounce pa in this manner. Not even, not even many Arabs in many countries, they cannot pronounce the va in the proper manner. But, okay. you know, I'm trying my best to, to make yeah, it yeah. as close to, to, uh, to the way, you know, it should, be, it should sound. And mm -hmm. maybe if you listen to it many, many times, little by little, you would be able to pronounce it in the right manner. To distinguish. Okay. okay. So that's that's the way. Uh, okay. Now uh, uh, I want to find maybe a few words in the palm. The problem is
Okay, now the way the way it should be written, like if you uh, would like to, um, let's put this off. No. Okay, how do we write pa? It's, it should be on the line. I start here, sometimes you can go a bit lower than the line. And then bring a perpendicular. Sorry about my handwriting, I'll try it again. All right, that's the way you write ta, and it, it doesn't matter if you write, if you're writing it in, like in the beginning of the word, like I did here, that lets me write a word. This word is bop, bop is uh, like, uh, what do you call it? Uh, a goose, okay? Or the mashal, let's write when it at the end, like there's a family name very well known, but pop. Very hard to write. So you see, it looks exactly the same. It doesn't matter where it is in the word. And the way to put it, uh, to, to write it is to start from here, okay? And go, and then you have to lift the pen from the paper and do this perpendicular line, okay? Now, Vavai, of course, is exactly the same. Just have to add a dot. That's all. So although we have some like we, we practice a little the the hay, and you saw how many different uh, different shapes it can take, but the the pa and the ba are exactly the same. It doesn't matter where they are situated in, in, in the word. And, and they look the same except for the dot. This goes like, uh, 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 it makes life, life easier when uh, you know, some of the letters have, uh, have the same shapes. But also you have to think about the way you should pronounce it. This is uh, also, also, of course, very important. Now there is a few words here. I'll try to type them. Let's say there was a Kasra here. Okay. Now, Nadine, would you would you care to read this? Uh, Tabib. Tabib, very good. 
Now let's let's have this other word that we we talked about. Can you add this? Can you read this? Zahar. Uh, Zahar, which means back. Right. I remember the Zahar, which was Zahar, uh, uh, sorry, uh, which means noon. Okay, they look alike, but it's a different. Uh, let me see, maybe. Okay. Yossi, can you read this, please? Yeah. Um, she, um, it's a sheen. It's a sheen. And yeah. do, do, do you recognize? Shoe. Shoe, yes. Shub. Shubab, Shubab, Shubat, Shubab, Shubat, Shubat, which is a, a, a month in the year. Okay, Shubat uh -huh. is uh, actually it's also a month in the Jewish year. Uh, Shubat, uh, it's also in the uh, regular regular calendar. It's uh, February. Uh -huh. Okay. Yes. Okay, I like another word. I know will you read this word. Tabaria. Very good, Tabaria. Very good. For some reason, I cannot the the, the vowel when it's down, it doesn't show. Tabaria is a Tiberia, not Tiberia. Tiberia. Have a. The problem is I don't have, you know, any books in teaching Arabic in English. You know? <laughs> I have so many in Hebrew. Okay. All right. So uh, let's let's go. Just a minute. Let me see. Let me let me see if you remember. This is the ha that uh, Yossi. Yes. Now I'm, I'm trying to read this this word. Ha. Ha. And this. This is now. 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 Very good. Now this word, you see the different, the way it looks here, the way it looks here, now the way it looks here. Yeah, this is uh, by to, by to who? By to who, very good. What does it mean, do you remember, by to who? Your house. His house. 
His house, yeah. <laughs> Try to read this one. You see the, the other side, the other type of this four different doc, four different uh, uh, ways of writing hey, ha, ha, this is ha, and this is Kairu, 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 yeah, with, uh, uh, which is at the end and it doesn't look the same. Now, I don't know if how many of you will remember uh, the hey in the middle of a word when you are writing it down. Yeah. If you remember the way to write it down, hey, is go like this, go down and go up. You remember it? In the yes. middle of the word, that's the way to write hey. Okay? Mm -hmm. The fifth way, there are four ways when it is, when it is typed, and this is a fifth way when you write the hey in the middle. So it is not very, not very friendly. Okay, <laughs> now let's go back to um, uh, Veronica. Yes. Okay, let's try, let's try these words. I can't see too well. Uh, let me, let me make is this the shot? Bigger, maybe. Uh, uh, Sasu. No, Sasun? Yeah, very good. Sasun. Or Sasun. Uh, uh, you, but you read it in the right manner. Okay. Um, Shu Shanna. Very good, very good. Now, although I told you that uh, in the Arabic language you either have a, e, or u, but if there is a word that from not from Arabic, like Shoshanna is a word from Hebrew, then you are allowed to read it as Shoshanna and not Shushanna. Okay, like you have the radio. In Arabic, you also, you, have, you write it down as radio and you don't say radio, you say radio. So for, for, for words that are from foreign language, you can read it with an O, okay? Mm -hmm. Now, okay. read this word. Should I... No, no, careful. Now it's also... Oh, sorry. I'm gonna not do I don't know this one. The the Y confuses uh, me. You have a problem with this letter? Um no, the one bef the two mm -hmm. ones bef the third the not the Aleph, the other one. Yes, this one. This it's is like a uh, yeah. 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 Okay. Okay. Now there are five letters that look exactly the same when it's in the, the middle of a word, except for the dots, okay? You have a ya, which got two dots on the bottom, a ta, which got two dots on the top, nun, which got one top on the, on the top, and ba, which got one top on the bottom, and ta, <laughs> which got three dots on the, on the top. Uh, they are a bit tricky, but you know, uh, you, you get used to that. So this is a yeah. Now try to read the whole word. Uh, uh, sharayan. Sharayan. Does anybody know the meaning of sharayan? Like it's a blood vessel. Like the, the heart pumps the, the, the blood into the sharayan and the blood comes back with warid. It's a uh, like, vrid. Huh? Well, varid the vrid. Exactly, but Sharayan is the... the orek, Beivrit the Orek, Orek. Orek, exactly, exactly. Yeah. Verna, before we go, can you please read us these three, three words? Yes. Uh, Shabab. Which means, of course, I understand you. I imagine... Young that. people? Sorry, young people, yes, yes. Yeah. Not very young, not children, but, you know, like, 
like um, over, yeah, like we younger have, dogs. Yeah, but, okay. Uh, yes, Bahu. Very good. Which means to swim. To swim. Uh, he is. He he swims like. Who yeah, is? He swim? swims. Okay, right. Good. Uh, yes, Radu. Very good. He, he runs away. Very good. I, I had a <laughs> feeling that <laughs> you're a natural. So. <laughs> I enjoy it. So, okay. Thank you very much. We'll meet next week. I'll send you the video and uh, I'll send you also that paper that I prepared so that you can, you can download it and add the other cover. So good Thank you. For now and Thank you. Good day, Rabbi. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> See you next week. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom.